really kind of moving along. I think I mentioned in an earlier update that I had decided to call it and just do a three quarter length sleeve. I'm still doing the ribbing. I think I have at least a couple more rows to go, but I want to go ahead and steek the armhole before I finalize the length of the sleeve. Soon I will steek the armhole, I will set in the sleeve, and then I will try it on and see where that sleeve falls on my arm. Would we call that a half sleeve and that's a three quarter sleeve, but that's that's the length I'm going for is for it to hit just above the elbow because that's where I like to push my sleeves up to anyways. I did that because I was really starting to get antsy about how much yarn I had left for the body. And this is a style that I enjoy, this cropped length, and I think it will, it will be wearable for more time out of the year where I live. Those are all justifications for a decision that I made basically out of panic, which is just fine. According to my measurements, I have about another four to five inches of the body to knit before I'm ready to start the ribbing on the hips and then I will pick up for the neckline ribbing as well and knit that. So it's all coming along really pretty nicely. The colors are doing nicely together. I did sort of decide to play around with the scale of each of these patterns. So the inspiration for this sweater is a crocodile or an alligator and their scales. So the big scales in the center of the body are one pattern and then there's smaller scales that wrap around the body. They sort of graduate in sizes. So there's four categories of scales essentially. I decided that because I started small and then I went bigger and then I have a different size here, why not keep playing with every set of scales so that they're all a little bit different and they're all very organic. So these center scales have the most play in them and then the second set of scales on the side have a little bit more variation but not as much and then the ones on the very side panel because you really don't see those they're kind of hidden in the armpit area those are just going to sit stay the same throughout the garment the way that i'm keeping track of that is with an index card so where i am significantly changing the pattern i will just plot that out on an index card and it's not the whole entire pattern it's just the part that i need to remember and then those green highlights those are where i'm having the contrasting background color so i've sort of planned that out before i do anything i sort of have this fantasy that i can get this done in a week that's obviously quite debatable but i'm excited for how it's going to turn out I have been getting a little bit concerned when I put this on the dress form that it's going to be too tight across the shoulders and the bust, but I think that's because I haven't steaked the armholes yet. This is still a closed section here, and when I cut that open, it's going to spread apart. And when you look at a sweater on a body, the armholes aren't butted up next to each other. They go around the shape of the arm, so that's four or five inches that will be added there and I think that will turn out okay. Really the only reason I haven't steaked yet is because I want to get it on film and I want to really think out what I'm going to say because I do want to talk about the techniques that are associated with steaking. So I kind of need to really make sure that that is fully thought out before I go into it and cut it. At this point, I have two, three, at least three sweaters where I have made the entire thing and I have not blogged about it, I have not Instagrammed it, I have not said anything about it. I just made the sweater in stranded color work. And some of them have steaks and some of them don't. But the point is, is that when we're talking about it on camera, or recording it in some way, it takes a lot more work. That's a whole separate pile of work from the actual making of the thing. It's really labor intensive to make these films, so I really hope you're enjoying them. If there's something that you would like to see that you're not seeing, feel free to let me know in the comments, but also know that I'm a human being. I'm not really making any significant amount of money off of these videos at this point. My YouTube channel, I'm still not getting revenue from ads. And, you know, occasionally somebody will buy a product that I mention in my videos, like this mug. I knit so I don't kill people with a 
Happy Knitting T-Rex. And I really appreciate all of those purchases that you make. Having said that, is I'm not making enough money off of these videos to pay my rent. I'm not even making enough money from these videos to be buying yarn or wool. It really is a labor of love. And so anything that you guys can do to help this channel along, I really, really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, share it with people you think might get some good use out of it. Like, comment, subscribe. That literally, you know, costs you 30 seconds and it really does make a huge difference for me. So all of that I really, really appreciate. But I'll be back pretty soon with the steaks and letting you know where that all falls out. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time.